Hi, my name is uh, Pugal. Uh, I'm broadcasting this using Facebook Live technology on November 26, 2017. Uh, I'm using uh, my Rocket Realty home office studios to broadcast live using Facebook uh, technology. This show is about real estate. Okay, so if you have a question on real estate, whether you are planning to buy a home or you are upgrading your home from a smaller home to a bigger home, or if you are downsizing from a bigger home to a smaller home, or you are in the process of uh, buying a home and in the middle of inspection, or you are planning to get a mortgage, or you are thinking of renovating your property and you are wondering what is the best uh, return on investment, uh, in, or you are thinking, hey, I wanted to know what is the value of my home, call me, uh, Pogo, uh, and participate using Facebook Live technology. Very occasionally, I am going to look down on my monitor right on my right-hand side. <clears throat> so I'm going to see if there are any questions or comments so that I can respond to you. Okay. Again, my name is uh, Pogo from Rocket Realty. I am broadcasting live from my studios uh, in Flower Mound, Texas. <clears throat> this show is fully about real estate. You know, if you have a question on real estate, um, you know, ask me. You're a first-time buyer, and you wanted to know, you know, what are the steps that is required to buy a home? You know. Uh, feel free to ask me your question using Facebook Live technology. You can join me live at facebook.com forward slash rocket realty TX. Again, you can join me live in with any of your real estate question at facebook.com forward slash rocket realty TX. Okay. I hope you all had a very good uh, Thanksgiving holidays. Uh, I sure did. Um, uh, have a good uh, time. Uh, one of our friends invited. Uh, there was a family of 15. Uh, you know, we had a good um, time uh, with the family and uh, well rested. Um, gained a couple of pounds of weight, need to reduce uh, further. Uh, so, folks, if you have joining me live, this is Pugal from uh, Rocket Realty. In today's topic, you know, I broadcast uh, using Facebook technology every Sunday between 6 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. Now, let's uh, look at a few of the topics. A uh, few of the topics that I wanted to discuss today is, number one, when you own a home, what is the rights you have with the ownership, right? It is often called bundle of rights, right? Uh, so when you own a home, you have a title to the property. Uh, what are your bundle of rights? Okay, we'll talk about five bundle of rights that you have. The second thing is we'll talk about mortgage rates. Uh, I'm working with a number of uh, buyers at this point in time. Uh, they are in different stages of home buying process. And some of them are well uh, where they have to lock in their rates. So I have been giving them guidance as to where the market trend with respect to mortgage rates. We'll briefly discuss. If you have any question, uh, join me live, ask me question, and I will be happy to answer. The third topic, you know, wherever be, being a real estate agent, you know, whenever I go to parties or meet friends or meet clients or customers, the first question they ask is, Pugal, what is this new GOP tax bill is? Okay, so. We'll talk about taxes specifically related to real estate, how it affects you as a homeowner, okay? Or if you have any questions regarding real estate, ask me, feel, um, you know, I, through Facebook Live technology, I'll be happy to answer your question. The first thing that we are gonna talk about is called bundle of rights. So when you own a home, what is the right that you have with the ownership of the property? You know, in the United States, as, uh, you know, there are five key bundle of rights that you have when you own a real estate property. The first one is called right of possession, okay? So when you are buying a new home 
and you pay the money to the builder or if you're buying a pre-owned home you pay the money to the builder at the title company at closing and the money is funded then you get the keys to the property once you get keys to the property you have total right of possession that means you can just lock the property and not enter the property or you know you can move inside the property turn on the utilities and live inside the property or you can give the keys to somebody else uh, it could be your relation it could be your parents it could be your son or a daughter and they have the right of possession that means legally you can allow based on your ownership it defines that you can possess your property so that is one of the bundle of rights called a right of possession okay this is true when you own a property not only in Texas but anywhere in the 50 continental uh, states of US the second one is also important it is called right of control okay right of control means you within the legal limits you have the right to control how you wanted to use that property okay so that means uh, you decide to rip your carpet and you put wood floors you have a control of what you do inside the home or you're saying hey i wanted to buy a five thousand dollar worth of chandelier and i want to hang in the foyer of your property you have the right to control what you do inside the property of course there are jurisdiction laws so when i mean jurisdiction there are two kinds of legal laws that play when you have a ownership in the property for example the first one is the hoa if you are living in a neighborhood where there is an hoa and when you buy a home you have agreed to abide by the rules and the regulations then you have to um, obey what what it says okay uh, so within the jurisdiction that is the term used within the legal confines you have the right to control you know what you do with the property maybe you wanted to re remodel your bathroom right so you have the right to control what happens inside the property there are certain things outside the property if you do you may need a permit for example, you are building an exterior patio or you're doing an outdoor kitchen or you are redoing your fence. In that case, you may have to get permission from the HOA and the city. Okay, Even though you have the right of control, you have to abide by the rules and the legal regulation of the jurisdiction. So that is what the right of control so we looked at right of possession and the second one is right of control and the third is a very important thing called right of exclusion okay right of exclusion that means you can decide who can come in to your property you know families friends you can let them in now if a police officer comes in and wanted to inspect something in, in your property that's where this right of exclusion comes into play now can you allow the police officer or it could be a county official inside your home is where this right of exclusion comes into play now the i mentioned about within, within the legal confines you know you have to operate so the right of exclusion says as a police or law enforcement official knocks on the door have some kind of a warrant with them from a judge then you cannot exclude them but other than that you can exclude anyone that wants to have access to the property that is what is called a right of exclusion now <clears throat> very very recently in one of the cities uh, that I deal with uh, when I buy and rent properties the this particular city would like to get a permit in order to rent the property okay now i will also uh, you know there is another bundle of right where i will link this right of exclusion and the next one which i'm going to talk about is called right of 
disposition. So they are related, and I will elaborate a story on what the city is doing and how it may conflict with the bundle of rights you have as a homeowner. Folks, I see a few people have joined. Uh, this is Pugal. I'm broadcasting live from using Facebook technology from Rocket Realty. If you have any question on real estate, whether you're planning to buy, you're planning to sell, or you're planning to do a remodel, or you're planning to do refinance, you know, call me or join me at facebooklive.com slash rocketrealtytx. So I'm briefly talking about bundle of rights. When you own a property, when you have a title to a property or condominium or a townhome, what does that entitle? We just briefly talked about right of possession. That means, hey, once I own it, I can stay in it. I can have my parents stay in it. Who are I designate to occupy inside the property that is called right of possession. I also talked to you about right of control, meaning I do have the right to do control the property, meaning I can change wood flooring, I can put uh, and rebuild the bathroom, or I can do a remodel project in the kitchen. The third was right of exclusion, where you can decide based on your ownership who you would allow into the property and exclude others, right? This comes into an area where the law enforcement officers want to get inside the property. It defines you know, who you can let in or who cannot let in okay of course all this is defined within the boundaries of jurisdiction which is you have to abide by a couple of things one is the HOA if you have an HOA second the city ordinance and the county ordinance okay the third the fourth one is called right of disposition okay right of disposition means if you own a property you have the right to sell it or you have the right to transfer ownership to your parents or to your children. That is called right of disposition. Or you have the right to rent. So right of disposition of an asset or a real property means three things. You know, you can sell it, you can give it to somebody, or you can rent it. Now, this right of disposition becomes really important in this time period of short-term rentals, right? I deal with a lot of my clients who ask me question, Pugal, I'm planning to do Airbnb, where it is a short time where you rent the, you know, it could be a condo, it could be a house for a short time period, one week or four weeks, right? There is a lot of city and city and state regulation that is trying to control uh, the short-term rental. If it is a long-term rental, you can rent the property. No one can say that you cannot rent a property unless, unless the HOA rule prohibits renting the property. This is specifically true in condominium, especially in homes and condominiums that I buy in downtown Dallas and Fort Worth, you know, where you have high rise building at any point in time, when you buy the property, they have a rule that says only 5% or 3% of the entire unit. You know, if there are like hundred units, only three homes can be rented. Condos can be rented. They don't want that condominium to be an apartment complex, right? So unless you, agree to abide by that condominium rules if you own a property you have the right to rent okay now the airbnb which is again a short-term rental there have been lawsuits in ohio and other parts of the world where the ownership you know whoever is the owner has won the case because as long as the home is used for single residential purposes it could be short or long term, you have the right to do, okay? That is the right of disposition. That is one of the bundles of rights you have as a homeowner. The last one is right of enjoyment. You know, we buy a home because we want to build memories, right? Now, the right of enjoyment says, as long as you don't disturb the neighbors and the neighborhood, then you have the right of enjoyment, okay? You can have a party, you can have food 
uh, you can do whatever keeps you happy inside the property as long as it doesn't cause two things one is called private nuisance or the second thing is called public nuisance now private nuisance implies that at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning you have a big boom box going to the backyard of the house and you do like 200 decibel volume that is considered private nuisance okay you may consider that as an enjoyment but because it is affecting the neighbors it is a private nuisance as well as a public nuisance is because with that loud volume it disturbs the entire neighborhood okay so that is right of enjoyment so Pugal, uh, folks this is Pugal. i am broadcasting live uh, using facebook technology if you have a question on real estate uh, it could be buying a home or you wanted to know the value of the home or you wanted to know what kind of home improvement project is going to add value uh, feel free to join me at facebook.com forward slash rocket realty tx all right so uh, so we talked about five bundle of rights uh, when you own a home so the first one is the right of possession. The second one is right of control. You can control what happens inside the property and even outside. The third is right of exclusion, where you can exclude who comes in and out of your property. Right of enjoyment, where you can enjoy the house. You have complete control and the right of disposition. Now, I was talking about an example on right of exclusion. There are, There is a city, uh, I won't name the city here, uh, where if you have to rent a property, even though you have it is defined in bundle of rights, this city is saying in order to rent the property, first I need to register the property with the city. Okay, And then the city is going to send an inspector to inspect the property and only when step one which is registration step two which is uh, inspection is passed they will allow water trash and sewer service to be started uh, i feel based on the bundle of rights uh, this is incorrect because who are they to come into our property and inspect the property to know the condition that is purely an intrusion right so the right of exclusion defines we can exclude. So clearly the city is in violation. Um, in fact, uh, some lawyers mentioned that it is interfering with the Fourth Amendment as a citizen of the United States. Okay, so um, we are not doing anything wrong. You know, there is no law enforcement official need to visit. And again, there is no need for somebody to come and inspect. Uh, this is something I will be escalating uh, with my association because uh, that particular city is either making money or what they're doing is incorrect. All right. So, folks, this is uh, Pugo. Um, I'm broadcasting live using Facebook technology. If you have any question on real estate, specifically, I'm very comfortable in the Dallas Fort Worth area. See, I work in many areas in Dallas Fort Worth, right from Fort Worth. Uh, to Keller, um, to Argyle, Flowermount, Frisco, South Lake, Colleyville, Carrollton, Louisville, Colony, uh, Plano, McKinney, Allen, Wiley, and Murphy. Okay, broad uh, area. I cover about 100 miles on an average in a day's time. Okay, so if you have any questions related to real estate or refinance, or you're thinking about remodel project, ask me a question on Facebook. I'll be happy to answer your question. All right. The second thing that I wanted to really talk today is about mortgage uh, mortgage rates. So, folks, uh, there are many clients that I'm working with. They are in the middle of uh, getting uh, their homes completed or they have completed inspection in the buying process and they are ready to shop for a lender and they always ask me a question Pugal uh, how are rates going to move should I lock my rates you know uh, is the rates too high at this point in time 
Folks, the rates, even though they have gone up when compared with last year. So last year it was around three. Now this year at this time, if you wanted to borrow money for a 30 year mortgage, uh, the rate as of Friday is about 4.125 or 418 based on, you know, if a lender you're going to pay points, it could be slightly lower or it could be slightly higher, okay? So 4.125 is really a very good rate, folks. It's uh, historically a very low rate. Uh, let me give you some example by the decade what the rates were. So if you were born live in 70s, the average rate in 70s was 8.86%. So a 30-year mortgage to borrow money, you have to pay. The interest rate was 8.86%. In 80s, the interest rate was much higher. It was 12.7%, okay? In 90s, it was 8.12%, okay? The 30-year mortgage, uh, the average rate in 90s was 8.12%. And in 2000, the average rate for that 10-year period was 6.29%. Again, folks, I have purchased a couple of investment properties, and I recall paying six and a half, uh, one, I believe, in 2005. You know, six and a half. Now I have refinanced it back in 2013 to about 2.99. Uh, and right now, in you know, 2010s, the average has been 4.06. So when you compare the historical mortgage rate for a 30-year loan, this is one of the lowest. So don't wait. You know, if you find a good rate around 418 or around four, just lock it, okay? Some of the question people ask me when I say lock it, Pugal, what do you mean by locking? So let's say you're going to close your home on say January 15th, right? Now, if you lock your rate tomorrow, the lender is going to ask you, what is the duration of your lock? That means whether the interest rate goes up or goes down for next 60 days, you're going to have the rate that you locked, okay? Now, people also ask me, can I change the rate if the rates decrease, right? Some lenders, you can pay a fee and readjust the uh, rate that you locked during this period of time, okay? So let's say tomorrow, you're going to call the lender and lock the rate as 4.125, and let's say on December 10th, it comes to, 3.75 or 3.825, right? Now, if you are allowed to change the rate between now and let's say January 18th, then you can change it once or you can pay a fee. It depends on the lender. Uh, so when you're shopping for a loan, this is exactly you need to ask the question to the loan officer, will you allow a rate change? Some lenders allow, some lenders don't allow. Therefore, you need to shop with the lender who allows you to change. And by the way, folks, I do not do lending. I purely focus on residential real estate. Uh, lending, I have a team of great lenders who focus on lending. So if you, have, if you need any questions or if you need a reference, ask me and I'll be happy to refer, okay? So folks, this is uh, Pugal. I'm broadcasting live using Facebook technology. Uh, I do this kind of weekly broadcast on Sunday between 6 to 6.30 from my studios. Uh, this show is about real estate. Um, last week, I concluded uh, a very successful first ever investment seminar on behalf of Rocket Realty. Um, so the seminar is about how can you invest uh, in single family residential property so that you can gain financial independence. Uh, so there are there were about 35 participants. Uh, I had four great speakers. Uh, I was one of them. I was sharing my knowledge and my experience of how you can invest in real estate. Real estate is a very good investment, folks, whether for your own retirement or you wanted to save money for your kids' education, real estate is a great investment. So I spoke 
Second, I had, whenever you own a real estate, right, specifically on investment property, you need to have a CPA because the accounting aspect, the taxation aspect, how do you want to hold the ownership in that property? Is it through an INC, Inc., or LLC, or on your own, own name? So it was Ruchi Gupta who spent incredible amount of time explaining all the intricate details and the major advantage of rental investment. So it was very eye-opener. Then I had uh, a client of mine, uh, he owns about 10 plus properties, uh, Raju, and he has uh, properties right from Keller to Wiley, a very successful real estate investor. He shared his words of wisdom as to how he got started and what one should know in investing properties. Uh, lastly, I also had uh, a civil engineer. Uh, the soil in Texas is very, very loomy. That means when it rains, you know, the soil moves. And when it dries, which is in summer, the soil contracts. So when you have this expansion and contraction, the building moves and it starts cracks. So you have to really protect the foundation. And he spoke about what are the, why is soil moving and how do you protect your investment in the home, okay? So folks, uh, this is Pugo. I'm broadcasting live from my studio in Flowermont, Texas. I do this weekly radio show on real estate every Sunday between 6 to 6.30. If you have any questions, uh, ask me using Facebook Live. Uh, last, we wanted to talk very briefly about the um, <clears throat> tax bill that is being passed in the House as well as in the um, Senate. Uh, folks, it is going to immensely affect home ownership uh, because it is uh, going to take away the mortgage interest for any new purchases. So. Any interest that you pay on the mortgage right now is deductible, okay, up to a loan of $1 million. So what the new rule is going to do is going to reduce that from $1 million to half a million, okay? So if you're going to buy a home that's going to be like 600 grand, then you cannot write off the interest that you pay on the mortgage. The second thing that rule, if it is passed and becomes a law is, Right now, when you own a home, you can write off your property taxes. Now, with this law is passed, then you cannot write off the property tax. Okay, so you make like two hundred thousand in income, then you deduct all your deductions, and one of the deduction there is the property tax and the mortgage interest. So both of these will be gone. Um, then they also are bringing uh, rules if you're in a home and you're planning to sell, uh, there, you, know, you can write off up to $250,000 in capital gain, which means if you bought a house 10 years ago for 100,000 and you're selling the home for 300,000, then there is a capital gain of 200,000, right? On the home that you made. Uh, you can, with the current rule, write it off. Uh, in the new rule, it says that you should, you can write it off, but you should have stayed five out of the last eight years in that particular home, okay? With the current rule, it is only two out of the last five years, but they're gonna change it in which you have to stay five out of eight years in the property in order to write off the capital gain. So we, at as real estate agent, um, are not, in favor of these uh, changes in the tax bill. So, because we feel it is going to hinder um, home and home investment and home ownership. Uh, if you own a home, then you need to reach out the local representative or the senator and send your opposition to the changes that affect home ownership, okay? So again, folks, my name is uh, Pugo. I was broadcasting live uh, using Facebook Live technology uh, from my studios in uh, Flower Mount. I do the show every week, uh, Sunday from 6 to 6.30. If you have any question on real estate, you know, how do I get started? Uh, how do I start looking for a home? 
what should I look for a home? Or you're planning to sell your home in spring next year. Now, what should you do now so that you can get the maximum amount of money uh, at the and sell the home at the lowest time that is possible? So, or if you're thinking of doing some renovation project, now is a very good time. And what kind of a home improvement project you need to invest? So, any questions you have in real estate, call me, join me every week at facebook.com slash rocket realty tx folks i want to end the show and i wanted to wish you have a great week until i see you next week this is pugal signing off on november 26 2017 bye now